As promised, I am going to open up this video showing you how effective the sandblaster is. In this clip, I am sandblasting some paint and some etching primer off of some rectangular aluminum tubing that made up my rack system that held the tent above my truck bed. For part two of the ultimate DIY sandblaster, we are going to work on the media recovery control system. It is comprised of your regular hardware store bucket. I bought a, it's called a dust deputy off of Amazon, a couple sections of hose from the hardware store, a fitting from the hardware store, and a 3D printed collector that goes on the gun of the sandblaster. So the first thing we'll do is talk about the 3D printed collector and then I'll go into pros and cons and why I needed to adjust my expectations to really understand the benefits that it gives me when I'm going to be sandblasting. The inspiration for the collector came from those vacuum attachments that you can place against the wall and then turn on and drill a hole into like a concrete wall and as the material falls it gets picked up. The bristles line up with the bottom edge of this rounded rectangular shape and the idea is as the media comes out of the gun and then hits it and starts to fall it just kind of naturally wants to fall into this and then the pressure off of the vacuum will just pull it into the nozzle on the back of the attachment is this kind of odd looking shape profile and that lines up exactly with the profile on the nut of the gun so basically you just slide it in, your air hose attaches to the gun down here, your blasting media attaches here, and then the vacuum attaches here. And as you move back and forth, media comes out, it hits it, starts to fall, and then gets picked up by the collector and taken back to the cyclone separator. goes the performance of the sandblaster um, with the gravity fed system I'm very happy with. I don't feel like that little section took a lot of time or effort to clean. I mean I figured it's on par with most sandblasting that I've done before. For the expectations of the media collection I thought it was going to do a lot better than it actually does. If you think about it the velocity that that sand is coming out of the gun and is just hitting the metal, I mean, there's a lot of energy there. And to imagine that a vacuum system would be able to overcome that but actually render the gun useless because if the vacuum is strong enough to pull the sand into it, that means that the sand coming out of the gun isn't fast enough to really do any work on the metal. So as far as the media goes, being the, the larger granule of the sand, not what I expected. And I think that's okay. As far as the dust, the finer particles that as the sand hits the metal and it breaks apart and it becomes really fine, I think the collection of that is extremely well. The sand blasting that area and a couple other test areas I did with the nozzle on really doesn't affect the air quality in the garage that much. And the fact that I can sandblast in my garage for a couple of minutes showing a demo without a respirator and just wearing normal safety goggles really says a lot. The amount of media that this thing blocks from ricocheting off of the metal is just amazing. In my week of testing this, 
I did pull the vacuum cleaner off and just like held the hose next to the nozzle as I was sandblasting. I only was able to do that for a second and a half before debris was flying everywhere, ricocheting off of my face. I was wearing safety glasses then, but that just proved that just having some kind of shield this collector acts as really helps keep all that ricocheting material kind of contained into one area. The fact that it doesn't go into the vacuum and it goes on the floor, that's just something that I needed to change my expectations for. And that's fine. I could do it inside and I know that I'll have to vacuum the place up after I'm done or I could just do it in my driveway and not worry about that. Blow it off into the grass and be done with it. And that leads to my comment about adjusting my expectations. Going into this, I had this grand idea that this would be the best system and you could just sandblast anything and it'll collect the dust in the cyclone and then you could pour it through the sifter and then you could just reuse the media over and over again and it would be awesome. But in reality, basically none of that is true. What it does do is perform very well in sandblasting, whatever you're shooting, and it does a very good job collecting the fine dust. And because it does those two things very well, I think this is a win. I think I'll be using this a lot. I think it'll probably be in very specific places that I use it though. As far as working on the frame of the truck, removing the paint and all the rust, I think I'm gonna be using this in tandem with other methods of paint removal. For the big, broad, long, uninterrupted areas, I will probably be finding a different method. But in areas where things start to get tight and I can't get a grinding wheel or a tool in there and where welds meet and I don't want to grind down on the welds or anything, I'll definitely be using this. With all that said, all in all, I am very happy with the way this project turned out. If I'm doing a long project, I can use the dust collection system to kind of keep that dust down. If I'm doing a quick project, like cleaning off the end of those aluminum, then I can just do it in the driveway, not worry about the dust collection, just get it done and prepare for welding and then painting if I want to do that down the road. And with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this project complete. I didn't get a chance to clean and paint everything, but I will be doing that at some point. So when you see this in future projects, it'll look much nicer than it does now. Thank you for coming along as I build my ultimate DIY gravity fed sandblasting system for basically anybody if they want something like this. As always, thank you for watching. I do hope you enjoyed these videos. If you have any comments or questions about the project or have any suggestions about how I could possibly make this better, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to get updates about when I release new videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And whew, I'm excited to have this done and I'm excited to be able to use it on the frame. I am now going to go ahead and sweep up my garage for the 15th time this week. So that means I will see you in the next one. Bye.